up y'all this your girl star j crazy so i'm coming to you with another word on the street segment i know y'all probably tired of me talking about these two but hell that's the only thing i could really find because this other stuff is going on with the celebrities i just can't deal with it but it was some news to me so i thought i'd drop it on y'all y'all probably already know but hey let's listen to it again but from my perspective okay so we got jocelyn and we got stevie J. <sighs> Them two. Them two, I tell you, them two. But the results have came back, y'all. And Stevie J. And you know what? I had to bring somebody who knows about this type of situation that's going on. Who know how to do the DNA testing right, okay? I had to bring in the big dog. So let's go ahead. Stevie, this one for you. You are the father. Yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> I had to put that little extra, you know, funk on it. Get y'all Mari on y'all. But anyway. <laughs> but anyways. All jokes aside. These two are really just going back and forth. And if like I um, I don't know if y'all saw his show. But it had premiere, I want to say. This past Monday. And she was on it. I'm kind of confused. I see once again. I tell you, this is for publicity. And then you bringing the baby into this. I just can't deal. I cannot deal. Like where's y'all standards? Sometimes you gotta draw the line at some point. I mean, come on. But at the end of the day, they do what they want to do. I'm just saying my piece on it, and that's that. But earlier, before he even took the well, while he was saying if he is the daddy, he wants Jocelyn to take a drug test because. He fears that she is abusing drugs, okay? And he don't want his baby around that. And I'm like, mm, yeah, <laughs> we ain't going to go on that. And she like, no, boo, I'm not doing no drugs. But you know what you can do? You will never see your daughter ever, okay? Remember last episode? I mean, last episode. Because it's, it's making me feel like I'm in love and hip-hop all over again just with these two people like like i said on my last one behind the scenes loving hip-hop jocelyn and stevie because it's just like bringing more drama to hype up a uh, new season this is how they doing i guess it's how they marketing themselves now let's start some drama in the media so then people gonna tune in to the show see what that's just... okay so yeah that's how they rolling right now so he filed some documents and Josh was like, Cool, I'ma file some documents too, boo. Don't let don't let the bad um Puerto Rican princess fool you because I got a uh, Bella on me. Don't let boy, I'll whoop your butt like I did on last one. I was like, You better good girl. But yeah, y'all. So it says Jocelyn filed docs. And this is coming from TMZ, so you know it's a little sketchy, but hey. And attached three drug test results that show she tested negative for various drugs, including cocaine and weed. She also attached a note from a caregiver stating, well, not caregiver, a care provider, stating that she has a healthy, well, she has been healthy throughout her pregnancy. Okay, all right. Also, she's saying she voluntarily submitted the drug tests, and Stevie claims she abused drugs throughout her pregnancy. It's a sick ploy to embarrass her. But yet, yeah. So, Jocelyn is clapping back with a shot of her own. She wants a check for $5,000, y'all. Five G's, like on uh, what is it? it? Ain't bro, man. What's the um one that was on Martin? Tracy Morgan played him. I forgot. Um, <laughs> he was like five G's, man. Five. Okay, bitch. Y'all had to be a Martin person to do it. Okay, so she won't check, y'all. She all about her money. All about that green. All right. And so then they saying Stevie's not buying her drug testing because he says it won't be done by a license. <laughs> <laughs> he said he ain't buying what she serving because she don't he don't think she got it done by somebody that's licensed. Okay. I was like, stop it. So yeah, that's what's going on between them two. 
I just thought I'd just bring some. I don't even know, cause this, with these celebrities nowadays, would they be beefing about and all? It's just irrelevant. Like it's just irrelevant. Like this, but hey, it was something to talk about. And I needed something on the the channel. I haven't uploaded in two days, and it's just been like that. So it just be like that sometimes. It should be like that sometimes. But anyway, make sure y'all go check out me and my mom's channel. Let's talk about it. Let's get that thing up 400. I think we almost at 400. I think. But also subscribe to this channel as well. All the links for the different channels will be in the description box below. And I will see you on the next Word on the Street.